What's up guys, Calvin here. Today I'm going to show you how to solder the NX69 pigtail to the Hummingbird Raceback V2 and also the Hummingbird V4. So each of the NX69 Nitro Nectar battery, it comes with four battery and one pigtail connector, just like this. And it comes with a uh, 20 gauge wire pigtail uh, with the NX69 connector. Okay, so the first one will be the Hummingbird V4. Before we start uh, replacing pigtail, um, I'm going to show you what kind of tool we're going to use. So a uh, 1.5 Phillips screwdriver and then uh, some solder, you might not need it. Flux and of course the Hummingbird V4 and then uh, one NX69 pigtail. Solder iron and then of course air filter. First step, let's um, unscrew all four screws on top here. And for the front screw, you have to move the camera all the way up. It will make it easy to access to the screw here. Don't lose the screw. After that, we will unplug the camera. And flip over, let's unplug all motor connector. And now you can pop up the fright controller. And we'll start to replace the, uh, to take out the PH 2.0 solid pin and replace to the uh, NX69 connector. And here is my solder iron. I'm going to clean it up a bit and just apply the heat on and it will melt, see? The next step will be um, getting the NX69 pigtail and I like to apply some flux to the tips here. If you don't use flux, it will be a little bit more difficult to let them to fuse together. When it fuses, it drops in like this. That's it. Apply the heat under, underneath. And you see the flux is melting. And you see the cable, it's already into the positions like this. <sighs> That's it. So you want to have the pigtail straight up, not to the bottom. So now we are going to put this back to the frame. Um, the antenna mount is the, the rear side, this is the front. Put back, put that on, and then the pigtail will just go from the top down here. Let's proc back the camera. Next step will be the antenna and the VTX antenna. Put it in. Okay, that's good enough. So next step will be parking back the motor connector to the fright controller. All right, next step, we'll bring a NX69 battery, nitro nectar battery to do some test and make sure the label, this yellow label actually on the bottom like this and you can directly plug in. Perfect. This is what it looks like after replacing the NX69 pigtail. The other things I want to bring up is our fright controller, uh, either the uh, Hummingbird RS V2 or the Hummingbird V4, we all comes with reverse plug-in protections. Even you solder the cable backward, you plug it in, it's not gonna burn the board. It will just nothing, just act nothing. And then if you plug in, you don't see any lights up, just check the positive and negative. Make sure they are soldered on correctly. Okay, the next one we are going to do the Hummingbird Raceback V2. And here is the pigtail. 
first of all, same things. We're going to release all screws. All right, the last screws out, and we're going to remove the camera with the canopy. So when you remove the cam camera with the canopy, the VTX cable, the VTX antenna is actually, see it's blocking the connector. So you need to remove the VTX connector also. The race spec is a little bit more complicated compared to the V4. And now you can release the, the camera. The next step, you will need to remove the propeller. Sorry, I didn't bring up the tool that you need. You might need a uh, prop pop tool, but you can also use your hand to remove the, the propeller. With this prop tool, it's so easy right now to remove a prop. Okay, so after removing the props, we need to release all four motor because the RSV2, they are all solder on. You see the, the motor, they are all solder on. So we need to we need to release the motor and then take the whole things out to change the pigtail. Let's remove all motor. Okay, now I already removed all motor screws and all the screws here. You wanna keep it on the side. Make sure don't lose them. And now let's take out the motor and also the fret controller together. So be very, very careful when you move the motor out. You wanna move the motor, push the motor in like this. Be gentle when you're doing this step. Okay. And use two finger to push the fret controller down like this. And slowly have all the motor going to the center and now it's out okay now we are going to remove the a30 connector on the board so I'm just going to do the same things here use the iron to mount the pad that's it I'm going to apply some flux to the NX69 pigtail you can put a little bit more, you will just make the solder easier. Let's get back to the board. Perfect. The ground, and now the positive. Alright, perfect. You can see the detail on the solder. You want something looks like this shiny a, a ball joint solder looks like that this is a perfect solder okay now we're going to put everything back to the frame so same step as you take it out two motor in first and then the other two motor you will have to use your hand to gently move it in Okay, put the fright controller back to the spot and push the motor into the locations where it is to be. And now I'm going to grab my screwdriver, start putting back the screw, lock the motor on. Okay, last screw last one next step we are going to put back the the camera plug push it in and then the next one will be the VTX antenna and on the race back you you don't have a uh, receiver antenna because there's a chip antenna in here makes it easier now I'm going to install the canopy we'll put the antenna in Okay, the last step, we are going to put back the propeller. 
and we are doing a prop up configuration. So what is prop out? The front two propeller basically spinning outward orientations like this. And then this this one will be the same as this one. So let's have all the propeller put it into the uh, correct positions and we'll put it back one by one. Okay, that's it. This is how you replace the pigtail to uh, an X69. Okay, next step, the last step, we'll plug in the power and see how it works. Cool, no magic smoke looks like everything's good. The Hummingbird Raceback V2 also have the reverse parking protections. Even you solder it backward, it's not gonna smoke anything. If you're doing with other Fright controller, not new Bijon fright controller, not Hummingbird fright controller. You just to be very, very careful when you solder the connector on the fright controller. Make sure positive and negative is not swap. Make sure it's correct. Congratulations, now you know how to swap the pigtail to an X69. And make sure all the pigtail have to go straight from the top and then just go down like this way. I know some people they solder it in another way from the bottom is actually not good because the wire lane is totally just designed to be soldered on this way. Go ahead and enjoy your NX69 Nitro Nectar battery and then the connector. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.